Elon Musk just announced that the Grok 4 thinking model has been released and is beating every other model available on the market, including Gemini 2.5 Pro, OpenAI O3 Pro, Medium and High, and Cloud Opus 4. So looking on the graph, you will notice Grok 4 is uh, scoring the highest number and its uh, cost per task is middle range. So it's positioned in a very nice golden spot here. So looking on the other graphs, you can notice that the Grok 4 Heavy and Grok 4 No Tool is beating every other model available. So including the Cloud 4 Opus and a Gemini 2.5 Pro by large margin actually. So in today I will test the Grok 4 uh, using the API as it was also released and is available through the tools like Open Router. Looking on the cost, the input is $3 and output is $15 and the max output is 256,000 tokens, which is uh, pretty amazing. The way I'm going to test the Grok today is using the Maya Chat desktop version the app I've made in Python and which is also being released today as a open source and I just put it on the GitHub so feel free to go to the GitHub Maya Chat desktop and to the link I will also provide in the description of this video so let's get back to the app so we've got Grok and Grok4 uh, selected as a supplier provider of the model and then Grok4 is selected as a model and in a second uh, window of the same app we've got a Grok but Grok by Q and this is an extremely fast server and the models are extremely fast and that's what I'm going to do I will use the Distill Lama 70B R1 the Dipseeker 1 Distill Lama 70B uh, because it, it needs just a couple of seconds to create uh, like uh, uh, this the app or whatever we're going to do uh, just to give us an idea of what it will look kind of like because it it's, it will produce the code but it will be low quality code compared to the grog for probably and also we're going to use the gemini 2.5 flash uh, it's quite fast uh, as an example. So we will compare three different models to the Grok4 output. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just um, created the um, gem on the Gemini website and I will give the instruction to, to give us a prompt for the website, for the app or for, any, for the game, for example. So uh, I've tested it already with several different websites and I will ask for um, actually let's let's use the prompt that was just just generated I will copy copy it and I will paste it into the window in the prompt window so with this app it's possible to select uh, all the parameters for the models so we've got maximum tokens output 32,000, but the Grok4 it's can output actually six, 200 something thousand. So it's quite incredible. And for the deep sea Lama, and the setting is set to 16,000. And this is enough for what we're going to do. And the instructions are the same. You are elite software developer with 25 years of experience in developing websites and apps. And this is just basic prompt, system prompt for those models. So not to, not to change the way the models are thinking too much. So let's, let's send the prompt in uh, uh, Grok Lama 70B. So you see it's very fast and let's send the same prompt into the Grok 4. So we've got already a response back from the Lama 70B and we can click on the preview HTML uh, that I've added to this program and this is very easy to preview the code and by click on this window it uh, gives us a little canvas window which 
gives an option to save the file, open in a browser and update preview. So let's open in a browser. And this is the what we've got from uh, 70B, DeepSeeker 170B. So we can expect something similar when it's generated by the Grog4. But it's, a, it's very slow and lots of people are using probably the Grog4 today because it's just been released and it's we need to wait for for the API to actually start working. And uh, let's before that we can continue on the on the Gemini. Let's give it a prompt and let's see what the Gemini 2.5 flash will give us. Just to double our chances, I will sell, select the request open router here, and we can just maybe try using Grok4 with open router. And we've got exactly the same prompt, so let's let's give it a go and see. Okay, let's download. This is uh, what was created by Gemini 2.5 Flash from the same prompt, and we've got this is what was done by the 70B Dipsic R170B, and this is the Gemini 2.5 Flash. And there are some graphics missing and some other things so it's a uh, it's very basic uh, let's let's have a look if mm, grog4 is already gave us some code so in uh, it's still processing in both windows now so we'll have uh, two different versions of the same prompt so one is uh, open router grog4 and another one is a grog4 directly from the grog website and using apis for both so it didn't the, the preview didn't work on this occasion. So let's let's copy the code. Okay, we've got the file. Uh, I copied the code to the text file, and we've got those files here. So let's open it and let's see how it looks like. Uh, there are some graphics missing and. Um, Probably the page will be very nice if those pictures were present there. And that was made by 70B model. And we've got also another one here. Let's have a look. Okay, in this case, I think the 70B model, the Psycar 170B model actually did better job than the Grog4. What do you guys think? Okay, let's let's ask for another prompt and let's... So we've got another website, we've got a prompt already pasted, let's send it. DeepSeeker one already finished in a few seconds and let's open in the browser. So this is what was done by the DeepSeek 70B, DeepSeeker 170B in just maybe three seconds. Let's try again and send. I'm not speeding it up, so this is the real time speed from the DeepSeeker 170B running on a Grok server. And let's open again and see if the result is the same. Very similar to the previous one. And this is what we've got from the Deep 670 b and let's close it and let's see if Grok4 is already created the response. He's still working on it, so let's wait and see. Uh, in the meantime, let's have a look on uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash. So the Gemini 2.5 flash finished, let's have a look what it does. So that looks pretty nice, much better than uh, what we have from the 70B model. And this is the Gemini, so some nice, nice, nice graphics, nice windows, nice animations. And it's pretty nice website. The color is terrible, but the website is, is okay uh, as it made. So let's wait for the Grok4 and we'll be able to compare 
the Gemini 2.5 flash and a Grok 4. Save it and let's have a look. So this is the result of the Grok 4. And this is actually not bad. It's it's not not bad uh, when you compare compare it to, to what we've got from the Dipseeker 170B, and this is very bad result. This is not yeah, this is very basic result, and this is the Gemini 2.5 flash. There is some strange line in the middle, but the website is looking okay. But this is a better. I think this is the best uh, of them all. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, website so grok for uh, in this case I think I will I will give it a, a win let's let's try another prompt and see how it will perform this time we'll create a game okay we've got a prompt generated by the Gemini I don't know what the game is about but let's have a look and I'll, as a first I will paste it into the Gemini 2.5 flash and run it and then we can paste it into the uh, grok4 and we can paste it into the dipseq r170b let's send it in dipseq and let's send it in the grok so we've got already the dipseq already gave us the result and uh, let's have a look it will even work Not sure what I supposed to do. I think I need to stop those balls. Okay, it's it's working. Uh, so I need to. I think I need to protect this center from being hit. Uh, so this is a Dipseeker 170B uh, result. So this is a very good way to just give us an idea on what to expect. And uh, Gemini 2.5 flash already gave the result and let's download the file and let's run it. So it's very similar. We know uh, what to expect now. And yeah, this is the game that was and we need to survive for as long as possible, I believe, uh, so to protect this center piece. And then Grok4 didn't even start yet. Uh, let's, let's let's try uh, run the same on open router. Maybe it will be more successful and faster. Let's send the prompt. The API seems to be overloaded and it's not very responsive. So I think lots of you, like me, is testing this model today. And the servers are red hot. So I've got both now finished and the output total is 1618 tokens and the on the right from the open router is 1816 tokens so i expect the one on the right to be better but let's have a look if any of those will work so again it didn't give me the preview button i don't know it's something in my app that is not working correctly with the grok uh, let's copy the code into grok game html file and save it and now we can run it. Looks exactly the same as it was uh, by Gemini. So let's let's have a look on the version that is a slightly larger. Maybe there will be some some difference. Open circle 
is actually exactly the same. Uh, not much difference. Yeah, okay, so we've got the grok. Grok 4, and we've got the Dipsic 70B, and we've got also a version from Gemini, which is looking exactly the same as a grok. So let's try another website or another game. Create racing game. Okay, we've got the prompt, create the racing game, and it's Inertia Drive. Let's have a look what it will be like when we paste it. Let's send it in the Grok4, and let's also send it into... So the Dipsic R170B already finished in a few seconds. And uh, let's, let's have a look, open the browser. And this is the game, uh, game over. Press enter. Okay, there is a definitely. I'm not sure what I supposed to do. Let's try generating the code again. Maybe it will make it better. It's so fast you can generate it in a few seconds. So it's very easy with the Grok and this little Llama 70B in this case. Let's open and open the browser. Okay, this is the Dipsic R170B, very basic, and that's what it can expect to be similar from the other models. Okay, that's much looking much nicer, but it didn't work for very long. And let's try to restart it. It's crashing if after a few seconds, but it uh, looks interesting. It would be nice if we can test it. Okay, let's wait for the Grok4 and the last one uh, to test this game. Okay, it looks like the like, Grok4 worked as the only one. So we can see the road shape is changing and we need to make sure we don't hit the uh, obstacles that are approaching. Okay, so this was uh, Grok4. That is a Dipsic R170B and and uh, Gemini 2.5 Flash didn't work very well because you cannot just even play it. Okay guys, thank you for watching, thank you for mm. subscribing to my channel. Please give me a like um, if you like the content. If you like the software, please go ahead and get it from the GitHub. And they have some bugs, the, per the software is not perfect, but it's actually very handy to test the models and it's you can put any api key into the software and use it with any supplier and you can use it with the rack and you can use it with the mcp so it's a it's very nice convenient tool uh, to use it with the models and you can increase number of agents so it it will be very very handy for some of the applications you might have so there's MCP config and you can, uh, it's pre-configured now to actually to access the local files uh, and I've tested it in my previous video. So it's, go ahead and I will update this up from time to time. So if you are subscribing to my channel, you should get uh, notifications when I do update this application on the GitHub. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.